Hey guys, it's Mr. Zorquin and today I'm with Banana Carnage. And we're actually looking forward to today's video because no doubt we're both going to disagree on what today's video is because we're not going to have the same order. And what are we doing today? Scooby Doo movies. The bird, the animated movie. We are doing our top 10. Bird, we've both got our separate top 10s. Yes. A better way of saying it. <laughs> Top 10 Scrubby Doo movies. Yes. <laughs> Was, that sounds more professional. Not that you're not professional, but sorry. So, yeah, we're doing our Top 10 Scrubby Doo movies, but only the animated ones. Yeah. So, the live action ones and ones that have crossed over with other characters do not count. Yeah. It's only animated ones. Oh, yeah. Well, if we did do do we did do the live action, the like first one would be at the top. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Yes. But, unfortunately we're not, we're just doing the animated ones. Yeah. So what we've done is I've wrote my personal top ten on my phone and VC has wrote his personal top ten on his phone. And what we're going to do is from ten to one we're going to say what those numbers are and see if we have the same one or we have a different one but we've got to give a reason why that film is at that number because I like it because <laughs> <laughs> it's say more than that so are you ready? yes alright so number 10 which are number 10? oh my top number 10 is Camp Scare and why don't they like that one? Why is that one at number 10? Because, well it was good. Good, but personally I just... I don't know. It just... <laughs> <laughs> it was just top 10 because it's not as good as my other one, but it was still there. And I'm like, you know, around a campfire and yeah. Great reason. Yeah, That's you. the best reason I've heard. Thank well you. done. Thank you. It took me so long. <laughs> oh, we can tell. Okay, and my number 10 is actually the Bull Brothers. Hmm. Why? I just find it not the sum that are worse than that one, but the reason why that's at my number 10 is honestly, I don't enjoy the films as much when it's not the whole gang that's in them. Yeah. Like, if it's just... Well, in that one it was just Scooby Doo and, and Saggy on the And Scrappy. Oh, yeah, and Scrappy. Yeah. yeah, and unlike the others, nothing really happens in that. It, it, there's no, nothing happening. And it's just a bit of a slow pace for me, so... That one's my number ten. Aye, aye. Alright. Moving on. Aye, aye. Number nine. Yeah, number nine. My top. Uh, my number nine is the Witcher Ghost. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Me and per personally, I didn't find it as good as the other ones. Just, I just didn't like the villain in it. And she didn't really appear in it much. Yeah. It's only appeared in it at the very end, basically. Okay, that I get. Yeah, Chub, you don't really see the ghost as much, but. Yeah, so that was. I, I still like disagree! <laughs> I love witches first. I know you do. See, see, guys, this is, this is how we're going to disagree, and no doubt by the end of the video, we're probably going to have a debate uh, what's best and what. You'll see. I say no more because. It's our opinion. It's his opinion. Yes. We're not all going to think some of our different. Okay. And what your number nine then, huh? My number nine is Reluctant Werewolf. Mm. And why that? Personally, I'm sorry, I know that one you like. But Reluctant Werewolf, to me, out of all of the others, it just feels like it's on too long. 
It's on too long. Yeah, but it's on the same amount of time yeah, as the others. Yeah, but it's that boring and that slow that yeah, it feels boring. like it's on too long. It's slow. It is. It is. Guys, watch Reluctant Werewolf. No. And tell me. Yeah, yeah, watch it's it. Yeah. No, it ain't. It got all the monsters in it, like Dracula. And That's the only one I remember. Um, <laughs> and they're two creepy twins people. And, yes. No. It's just not my... It's not one that I would watch the war. Because I just, I don't enjoy it. I'm sorry. Again, open to his own opinion, I just don't know why I wrote the Raoul. Oh yeah, that is your opinion. Yes. I won't judge you over that. <laughs> Thank you. Moving on, number eight. So, number eight, what's your number eight? It, the Zombie Island one. You are killing me! I just didn't like it. Oh my god. Is legit gonna diss all of my favourite ones, which I'm gonna murder you after this video. I'm not really. Mid for the murder. You don't kill me. Okay, why is on the island? Um do you didn't like it. Do you like You didn't have a reason then? The, the like zombie weren't actually the bad guys. Were they? They were just And then the two villain well were, were the three villains in it really? Yes. Yes. Which turned out to be like like cat people. Yeah, cat people. Yeah, so wild pickles from I don't, I don't know. Just yeah, but it's called Zombie Island, so yeah. it's not saying that the zombies are the bad guys. It's yeah, just basically it's saying no. there's an island that's full of zombies. That's it. <laughs> Do you really but still. Okay. I disagree, but I keep telling myself that it's been there. Okay, my number eight is Monster of Mexico oh. with a chupacabra. Why is it so so long? I don't know. I just I don't. Again, not much happens in it to me, and everyone knows the story of chupacabra. It's a bit yeah. like. Yeah, but that why they did did a film on it to do their type version. Yeah, I get that, but it's just I mean, it could be worse. But I just now I know my reasons and they're in the fall the same, but I just didn't enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Alright, number seven. Which are number seven? Then sp space invaders. Sorry. You're trying to piss me off on purpose? <laughs> no, I just don't like the look of the bloody alien people. <laughs> Broxy people. Yeah, basically. Broxy and also, people. you know, just didn't find it interesting, to be honest. It was good, but it just weren't as good as some of the other ones I watched. Um, yeah. But then they weren't really aliens. Okay. They were really aliens. Well, until, you know, the proper two aliens that were actually aliens appeared. Oh, yeah. Because they turned out to yeah. be just people in costumes. That was cool. Oh, scene, come though. on, that's the story of what we do. They were all in costumes. <laughs> yes, but then there were actually two aliens in it. Yes, about And they were cool. Cool looking, I must say, but yeah. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, they said the like, woman was, she looked creepy. She what did it, it looked like, but okay. Well, aliens are not supposed to be pretty. How, how do you know? Uh, have you seen, seen a real alien before? No, because we don't know if they exist. Mm. I hope they do. There's got to be. Somewhere. There's going to be somewhere out there with the life forces. Of course there is. Yeah, there's going to be. Okay, and my number seven. Loch Ness Monster. Oh, why that? I do like the Loch Ness Monster. For me, when it came to doing my top ten, it was really hard to like put them in this certain order. Yeah. 
and with Loch Ness Monster, I do enjoy it. It's a good one, it's the Loch Ness Monster, everyone loves Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, the Loch Legends of it, and it's it real, really real or not. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be a mystery. They've only, only been, like, there have been pictures, but no one, um, you know, apparently... I actually pictures. seen it. Yeah. Yeah. But no, the Loch Ness Monster, I do like. My reason for that one, it's not that I don't dislike anything about it. Yeah. It's just it was hard to put these in this order. And it just ended up being at number seven. Aye, aye. But I do like it, it's a good one. Aye, aye. Okay, number six. Yeah, number six. The um, Samurai Sword, the one that, oh. is, that is based in Japan. Yeah, like you, you said, it really hard to get certain mm. ones in a certain order, especially when it's so difficult. Be, for me personally, I love Samurai and, you know, Japan and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be saying, that I would have been more up. Yeah. Like, top five. Yeah. And I thought the the villain were cool looking as well. Yeah. Um, mm. Although, can I admit something? Yeah. I've not seen that one. Thank you. No. <laughs> I know what we're making. Soon. I've not seen the Samurai <laughs> one. Oh, that's okay, by the way. Oh, I've had it a bit a long time ago. How dare you? I can't remember anything, so... It's what I'll make you watch it one day. Oh, thanks. No, I'm making me watch it. Yes. Okay, and mine, number six, again, was very hard to put them in this order. It's not that I don't like it. My number six is The Legend of the Vampire. What? That was a good... <laughs> Does it have the head skills and I know, that's <laughs> fine. And it has vampires. And <laughs> That's what this whole video is about, basically. It's cool. Obviously it's like somebody doing it. I'm a shaggy, of course. You can't have shaggy. It's got all of them. Some films haven't got Fred, Belma or Daphne. No, but vampire writers. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. And again, I don't dislike anything about that film. I love that one. That's one of my favourites. Hmm. But so it, I like the, the different bands as well that they so up, you know. Yeah. It's hard. Like the actual vampire band, like <laughs> Yeah, it's like punk weren't it, wasn't it? I think. No, they're supposed to be rock, aren't they? So Yeah, yeah, but like the war punk type. Makeup. Yeah. Yeah, but it's good. It's a really good one. Okay. Number five. No, yeah, number five. The Monster of Mexico. Oh, that one's at number five, too. Really. Aye, aye. So, so halfway. It, it was good. I liked it. Um, yeah, but it's still, it's getting it in the order I want it without, you know, like... Mm. Yeah, it was good. So, like... Met Mexico is a good place then, yeah. The like story been told so many times of the, you know, the legend. The Chupacabra, yeah. yeah. And that's a cool legend. I don't know a lot about it, to like be honest, but I heard things about it. Yeah, it's just basically Mexico's like urban legend, isn't it? It's like, yeah. It's an urban legend. Just like the Loch Ness, it's yeah. Loch Ness Monster, Chupacabra, the world. Urban legends, apparently. Basically. So, my number five is Gold School. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like Gold School, and despite what I said before, I do find it hard to enjoy Scooby Doo films that don't have the whole gang in. Yeah. But with Gold School, it does only have. Scrooby Shaggy and Scrappy. Yeah. But yeah, I do enjoy that one. I don't know if it's because the actual kids in the school are kids of like Dracula and the Mummy. And yeah. So it's in I like t the fact to see their kids. Yeah. That's what I enjoy yeah. about it. It's good. So there's one disadvantage to that, but there's an advantage to that one as well. And that's why I ended up at my halfway point. Because it's in between, like, like it, not like it. Oh, yeah. 
There's reasons behind why. I, I understand that. Uh, number four, what's your number four? The Lost Nest Monster. Oh. I did like that one. Yeah. It was my number four, so it was almost in my top three. I used to watch that one a lot as a kid. Mm. I just like the look of it. It was cool how they designed it. But it was weird though, because, you know, when it there out to get you, it looks so real, but then when, when it comes to taking it off, it looks so fake. <laughs> <It's like> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can. It's, it's quite funny that actually, because when you do watch it, and that bit happens and it takes yeah. it off, it's like... You can tell didn't it. Didn't I realise that before? <laughs> it looks so realistic. Yeah. Didn't it turn out to be a big a metal, big like metal yeah. thing? Yeah. It, it was good though, I liked it. <laughs> yeah, you instantly think, oh, could that be cheesy? <laughs> but it looked so real. It did, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. My number four. My number four, Zombie Island. Oh, why is that? I do. I really do enjoy Zombie Island. And again, now it's going up to like number four to one. This was extremely difficult to choose between these four and which order they were going to go in. But at Zombie Island, I enjoy that. Especially the songs. The song on Zombie oh, Island, yeah. I just think it's so catchy. Yeah. You know that, like, when well, like, oh, yeah. Twal, twal, that when they're running away from the Yeah, it's when they're actually all rising in yeah. there. So the songs are good. Guaranteed to sing to that every time it, I watch it. And Zombie Island is one that I watch more than others. Oh, yeah. I just enjoy it. And I like Zombie Island again for the twist. Like you said earlier. And like, the, they weren't the real villain. They were actually the yeah. good guy trying to tell the gang, you know. That they wanted to be they arrest. were basically the people that were tricked up well, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Weren't they pirates? That yes. were, that settled, but then... Yeah, and I think it were the cat people that took the treasure or something and... Yeah. Yeah. It's sad, but again, I liked it for the twist. Yeah. That, again, you think the zombies... Because the zombies, you think they're bad, but it turned out the people that you thought were good, it ended up being the other way around and yeah. they were the bad ones. And despite they were being cat people, I thought the appearance still kind of looked good. But the cat yeah. people, you know when they fully transformed into like the yeah. proper cat like with fur and everything, that, that, that. Well, it explains they why badass. they didn't like Scooby Doo when he first came. <laughs> I should have a cat. Mm. Yeah, so it's good for the twist and the story. Yeah. And obviously, in the end, you feel sorry for him, so. Yeah. But then they get put to rest anyway, so. That's it's good. Yeah. It's very good. Now we're on our top, top three now. Top three? Ooh. This is going to get extremely difficult. So, number three, what's your number three? It, the Legends of the Vampire. I thought that would have been in your top three. I just like that because, you vampires. know, vampires and, you know, I don't know, I just like it. The, like, costume for, like, the different gangs were good. I like the makeup that were on some, some of them. Mm. The head skills were in it, which you like the head skills, don't you? Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> If they were an actual band, I would see them live. Please, please, let's see them live. <laughs> yeah, and I just like when like the big vampire appeared, the big smoke and just appeared. Like... Oh, that big badass <laughs> one. Yes. Oh, yeah. For some reason, I completely forgot about him and I thought it was just three in the band. No, the but oh, the big one that forms is like, oh shit, don't mess with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the daddy of the vampire. Yeah, but didn't it turn out to be an hologram? Um, Went I, to an hologram? Yeah, they so, formed. So I believe, yeah. Yeah, but still, it was. Because if that were natural cool sounds looking. vampire, then Jesus Christ. It was still cool looking there. Talk about making an entrance. <laughs> Use it. 
Yeah, I know that that film is good. Yeah. Number three, that one is very good. Right. One of my favourites. And my number three, Richard's Got Lost. That's oh, yeah. my number three. Mm -hmm. They are the ones we like the hex girls in as well, aren't they? Yeah, hex girls are also in that one. Yeah. Um, they actually explain more of that. Ain't, rich. ain't the, uh, the um, black end hex girl, ain't, ain't yeah. the dude, her father that appeared to want mm. the book, do something that witch thing. No, they weren't or, I don't or or them book. Or, no, them or, two were related. Weren't they? No. So I thought they were. No, they weren't oh. related. Oh. But the lead singer of the X Girls was a ancestor of oh, the witch. Of the, oh, that, that That's is, why yeah. she could be that the is. only one to read her back into the book. Oh yeah. As she that was an ancestor. Answer, yeah. yeah. The dude that were just trying to get the book yeah. were a dude. He just <laughs> wanted power. Basically. And it got to him and he used that gang as an advantage to Find the book, so he could take it for himself. Basically. But that backfired, didn't it? Because he ended up going in the book with you. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And that's another good twist though. That's what another twist I like about that film. Yeah. That you think, oh, his courage is, you know, he's open and yeah. find the book. And then the end is like, I'm yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, but like, you know, like like I said, the actual witch didn't. It's a disappointment. It too long, you don't you know? see her much. It was only like the last like ten minutes, ten fifteen minutes. Yeah. yeah. So that is a disadvantage to not like that one. Yeah. But it still made it into my top two. Yeah. But we all have there's reasons, there's reasons, and we was chatting. Oh yeah. Okay, number two. Oh, this is number two. Oh, the um, pre-luxion werewolf in my number two. Oh, <laughs> this is interesting because I thought that would be at number one. Uh, it's one of my favourites. I used to watch it a lot, and I just like the like different monsters that appear in it, like Frankenstein. I like his wife and the, you know, Dracula, and, and that like Shaggy turns into a werewolf. Yeah, he was supposed to have been there next werewolf, right? Yeah, that's why they chose him. And then there were a big race to you know. Basically three and yeah, I just like it. I thought, yeah, hmm. so I like the character, does not it? That's real. That's interesting. I really expected *Reluctant Werewolf* to be at its number one, which yeah. makes me think, guys, our number one possibly might be the same. Oh. Our number one might be the same. So you'll find out soon. Ooh. Cause my number two. Is Alien Invaders. Broccoli people. Broccoli people. What? No joke though. Look at the cover on Alien Invaders, which is showing on screen now. The aliens look like broccolis. But they do. They really do. <laughs> They're so funny. And uh, again, twist. Yeah. They turned out not to touch a bit. Yeah, which <laughs> is like that with every Scooby Doo thing. Yeah, it's They're just not... people and costumes. Yeah. Although you don't think some that are yeah. genuine, like real. Yeah. True. Yeah, for most of the time it's just costume people. Well, people in costume. Well, I don't know. Alien Invaders, I think, can be classed as a genuine one. Yes, because they did have aliens, alien, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, which were the girl and the dog, but then they transformed <laughs> into a lizard. A, it, to kind of look like a lizard type thing when it transformed. Yeah, the dog, the dog one did. Yeah, and then the girl just transformed right, and in, into really a bold <laughs> girl. <laughs> in blue. Well, she all was it blue. She was like a blue white. A blue like white. a real pale blue. Aye, aye. Yeah, and you feel also sad that film because once the a girl and the dog, she can scrub fall in love with him. Yeah. And then when they realise that they're aliens, like, it's like, oh. Oh. I know why yeah. now I can't bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless of them being aliens, they still had feelings for them. Yeah. And that says a lot to have feelings for an alien. <laughs> Good point, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, 
I like it in the theaters. One of the films I watched a lot. I said, I just love that. I just find it funny. And just, yeah, I just, yes, I just love it. Now, we're on number one. Oh. We're on number one. And I am actually 100% sure why our number one is the same. Oh, so, what we're going to do for number one, guys, this time we're going to say it at the same time. Oh, wow. Because I'm certain that our number one is the same. Really? Oh, you're so confident. I'm very confident. So, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Silent Seven chase. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! It would be Cyber Chase! Yes, Cyber Chase is both our number one. Yeah. So this one we can both give reasons why this is number one. Yeah, I'll go first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just like it because of the monster but also how how they go into each level and it different. Like the first one I think the moon one. Yeah. And then their Colosseum one and then their a dinosaur yeah. one. And then there were just the final level weren't there and the, the yeah, arcade the, type thing weren't it's it? where they made the doppelgangers yeah in the game yeah. which that's pretty cool yeah it was cool I think. yeah and then at the end it, you find out that the, the person that trapped you in were, were one of the workers yeah the one that you probably wouldn't expect as well to trap him because yeah. they accused the two Oh. Main ones, but the one that yeah. they didn't. So like, didn't so like how 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 they explained that like there were actually hints hint hints in like that the film to explain why it was him like yeah. because he liked baseball, but there were Let's a lot of sayings. Off. There were a lot of sayings and action that like made you think, ah, oh, that makes sense now. Yeah, that was good. That proves that Cyber Chase they put a lot of detail into that yeah. one um, for yeah. the fact that they put hints in like. The chalk and the Coliseum and yeah. uh, Cyber actually baseball cage and said let's play ball. Yeah. <laughs> so that that was good. That is very yeah. good. It, my favourite one. It's you my favourite. It's yeah. probably the one I watched the, like the most. If I yeah, I could watch it one after the other because it was that good. And another funny thing about that one is, despite they're in a natural game. They automatically think that the the monsters are fake yeah. because that's what always happened. Yeah, but they're they were not actually real. And they pulled the head off, and it's like it's not coming off. <laughs> I think it's real. Yeah. And then start running all over. <laughs> yeah, because on yeah. the final one, there there were quite a, a few monsters, weren't there? There were a crocodile. What? what they yeah, there were a crocodile, the reptile monster. And then there were. Even though we're riding sharks, iron face. I, the iron face. Yeah. And then there were the the creeper. The creeper. Yeah, yeah. The creeper. And that Weird like, cat he, one. Weird uh, he'd been in quite a few episodes of Stupid, he's, isn't he? Yeah, he's kind of he, like one, one of those. Spots. He one of those. Yeah. Very popular villains. Yeah. He was even way back in the um, Where Are You series. Yeah. Yeah. He's a popular one. But yes, even, even the cyber dude. Yeah, he had is, a good personality, I thought. Is, it was great, yeah. he played him. He played him good. He has so much humour, I like mischievous. Yeah. It's just... He it, it, it finds it funny. And that's what makes you like him. Especially when he comes riding in on T-Rex, it's like... <laughs> that was cool. Know. But yes. Yeah. So Cyber Chase was having number one. Yeah. I think it the only one we had of the same one. Yeah, it? probably. <laughs> Everyone else would like disagree it done. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are if you want guys, comment down below what your top ten favourite Scrubby Doom movies are. Yeah. And we will see if you have same ones to me or same ones to VAC and we will find out. Also, if you do like Scrubby Doom I'd appreciate if you give this video a little thumbs up because it was something like Scooby Doo. It's Scooby Doo. I so, love Scooby Doo. I love Scooby Doo. I could watch it now. I can. We might have to watch one later. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. 
We hope you enjoyed and we will see you soon. Thank you for watching guys. Love you all.